Today's rant is brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, New Works has a fix for you. For your plumbing needs and repairs, just go to newworksplumbing.com. That's N-E-W-W-R-X plumbing.com. Hey, join me a little bit later this afternoon, 3 o'clock Pacific. I will be live on Listen Up. So, yes, I did tune in for a bit last night to the Hall of Fame game with the Raiders and the Jags, and I was once again reminded of those ridiculous helmet decals for the social justice initiatives of the National Football League. It's absurd. The woke NFL just doesn't know when to stop. Tell their stories was on the back of a couple of the helmets. You know, that would be great. I would love for the accusers of Deshaun Watson's civil suits to be able to tell their stories, but Watson paid them all off with the exception of one, so they would not tell their stories. Stop hate? You know, that would be great. I know it pertains to the NFL's social initiatives and racial issues, but, you know, maybe that would be good in the New Orleans locker room and particularly in front of Alvin Kamara's locker where he has been charged with felony battery along with three buddies beating the crap out of a guy in a Las Vegas hotel. How about this for a decal? How about stop reckless driving? We see that quite often in the NFL. We can go back last year to Henry Ruggs and, of course, taking the life of a young lady because he was driving over 150 miles per hour through a street of Las Vegas. You got Marquise Brown of the Arizona Cardinals that was cited for going as fast as that jet airplane flying over me, 126 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. I got another idea. How about we get Massage Envy to be a big sponsor for the Cleveland Browns? And maybe at the end of one of the end zones, we can put the Massage Envy logo and underneath it, we can say Massage Only. I mean, seems to me that that would serve a good purpose as well. Just a couple of suggestions for the NFL in their ridiculous, absurd, woke movement. Did I actually see a helmet decal last night that said, choose love. Please tell me that my eyes were deceiving me. I didn't see a helmet that said, choose love. Again, the NFL is so damn woke. They've gone so far. They don't even know what the hell they're doing anymore. What an absurd joke with the decals on the back of the helmets. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And that's my rant for today. Hey, if you like what I had to say, Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I'll get back to you, and as always, thank you so much for watching Grant's Rant.